Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So on today's video, we'll be talking about Lumen. So I already skimmed through Lumen's skill and he basically is a budget Natas with less skill or pack that Natas has. So basically he got rework and and also got his companion, his skill set also changes. So Lumen is basically um, a unit that deals a lifting blow and additional damage that are or occur before normal attack. He has a lasting critical damage boost. He is also taunt ignore and also permanent stat weakening immunity. So I do think that Natas is better because first of all is that um, Natas was able to clear Galenius immortality buff. Um, Natas also was able to pierce through 100% defense unit while Lumen does not. Alright, so for the additional damage, the additional damage occur before normal attack, meaning that um, this skill hit first and then the normal attack hit. Uh, hit. And for the additional damage, it is a barrier ignoring additional damage. Barrier ignore is not the same as defense ignore. It basically ignore barrier, which supporters such as Refitia give or gave. Um, what are the barriers used for? Barrier are usually used for reducing the enemy's um, additional damage received. And this scale basically ignore them. So the attack will not get reduced and pierce through the enemy. Okay, so the additional damage are attack time 200% multiply at plus zero and the spell itself um, or the damage, the additional damage um, disable the enemy casting state. So some sort of magician read with um, not a slight tile. Okay, at plus one, two, two, five, Plus 2 to 50, plus 4 to 275, plus 5 to 300, and lastly at plus 10 for the maximum attack multiplier 400%. Okay, for the attack tile, at plus 1, 0, 2 plus 11, it is 3 attack tile. For plus 12, it is 4 attack tile, and lastly at plus 15, it is a 5 attack tile. Notice on the other hand, have 6 attack tile. And Usually, um, Lumen does not have the kit to remove Galenius buff, meaning that there is a chance that the lane will not get cleared um, despite Lumen attacking the whole lane. But on the other hand, Natas does have the kit to remove those, so he has the higher chance to clear the lane. Okay, for the lasting critical damage boost, um, at plus 0, 2 plus. 6 as you can see here only give 30% critical damage and increasing critical damage per 6% for every turn that Lumen got boosted. Okay, so at plus 7, increasing the percentage to 40 and 9, plus 8 to 50 and 12, and at plus 9 for the additional attack increase. So another 30% attack increase and the 6% increase on attack every turn. Plus 13 to 40 and 90 for the attack, no changes in the critical damage. And lastly at plus 14 for the same exact multiplier for both critical damage and attack. So with this second skill, Lumen should be able to deal insane amount of damage to defenders such as um, Grand Hilder, Valfer, any unit that doesn't basically have 100% defense unit. He might also be able to pop um, energy shield from Memonir, but since Memonir have death guard, um, Lumen will not be able to one shot him or her. Okay, so at plus, and lastly, for the third skill, which is the main highlight of Lumen skill, or the first and the third skill. So the third skill is a taunt ignore. So taunt ignore are very useful because with this skill, he will be able to ignore taunt and hit the whole lane pretty easily such as Natas. At plus 3, you unlock this spell and, and this skill and it lasts for 24 turn. Plus 6, it is it became to 48 turn, while on the other hand Natas at plus 6 became permanent. 
you need plus 11 for Lumen to have the permanent tonic knot. But since Lumen is a 5 star mercenary, it is very relatively easy to get um, the skill book instead of Natas, which use Legend skill book. Okay, lastly, for Lumen stats weakening immunity. So he will not get um, debuff um, if you basically or accidentally kill enemy Helga. He will not get the um, debuff from stats weakening um, and he will not get his stats reduced. Um, as for how many um, the HP that Lumen has, as you can see here, at full stats, um, max uh, limit break and everything, um, rank boosted. So it only have around 3.5k HP or 3.6 and 2. 1800 attack um, relatively normal for a 5 star mercenary and for the fatal and the critical damage 40 and 50 critical rate and critical damage um, I do think that if you guys want to invest on him I do think that it is preferable if you save up for persona but he does have his uses in Guild Wars such as Natas, which I show you guys in a few showcase before how Natas can easily clear the um, Guild War defense that the enemy has. Um, and also he Lumen could be changed with Sylphid because Sylphid enables Lumen to or to hit on round one, meaning that you can clear high HP defender or warriors or any uh, unit that doesn't have 100% defense or are not buffed by Kalenia. But Natas are better in that term because of the nullifier. As for whom that Lumen should use, I do recommend you guys on using two assault rune or one assault and one rage should also be decent. But yeah, I do prefer to um, to assault rune. Okay, so next we'll be showing off my lumen. So on this account, I do have a plus three lumen. I don't plan on spending my books, even though I do have them. I do have fifteen of them. I don't think that I will be using lumen on this account. Um, and as for diamonds, I don't have any more diamonds on this account. So, all right, let's go to campaign. Okay, so. We'll just go for a very hard campaign. Okay. So. Let's see. Okay. So for this. We will be comparing Natas attack. And basically Lumen attack. So. I use Sela to buff the team with 4 mages. So. We should be. Um. Lumen should also have very amount, uh, insane amount of damage. As for rune, I do think that Natas have better rune because one of the rune are plus eight, but it doesn't really matter because based on the skill alone or the theory alone, Lumen should deal higher amount of damage. Okay, so as you can see, I'll slow mo when. Lumen will be attacking. Okay, I um, let's see when Lumen are boosted by Sela. He deals on 156k of damage. As for Natas, which are not buff, deal on 50,000 damage, and that is Lumen's basically Lumen's additional damage. We haven't really seen the normal damage. Um, let us swap it into. Not us getting the cell above. Okay, so in a term or in the sense, I do think that not us proved better because of the nullifier. But in terms of raw damage, Lumen basically deals more. So let's see. Okay, this should be okay. So we basically buff our not us to insane amount of damage. So around 80k and then Lumen itself deals around 113k. So 
even with Silas buff or Nathus, Lumen or damage still does more than um, Nathus. Alright, so still, in my opinion, I do think that you guys should save up your diamonds for the new legend. Basically, these Lumen are an easy skip. And even for those who wanted to get it, I do recommend you guys to have the necessary spell to have it. And it is more recommended for Seola Abuser to have Lumen on the team. Alright, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Omae wa mou. Shinde yu.